Do you want to know how to add funds, withdraw funds, make trades or place a limit order on index? Well, watch this video till the end or take a look at the timestamps if you are looking for something really specific. Index, also known as National Digital Asset Exchange, is a Canadian cryptocurrency exchange launched in 2018 and it has a very good reputation for offering large varieties of cryptocurrencies at the lowest fee possible. To sign up, click the button that says sign up, enter your first name, your last name, username, email address, password, and click sign up. Once you do that, you will receive a confirmation email and it's gonna ask you to click activate account to activate your account. Next step would be just to verify your identity and for that, you will be required to provide your date of birth and your SIN number. Along with uh, that, it will also ask you to provide your contact information. So let's say you set up your account, you verified your account and it's fully functional. So this is what your interface would look like. Um, so this is my dashboard and the first thing that you're going to see is total assets meaning the total dollar value of the assets you currently have in the platform next we have quick buy and sell where you can select different cryptocurrencies of your choice and exchange it for canadian dollars it's just a quick way to place an order or sell a certain cryptocurrency next thing we have is portfolio distribution and over here you can see your entire portfolio you can see that my 99 percent of value is locked in shiba inu less than one percent is in Matic, and so on uh, when you click see more you're going to see the balance you currently have the total amount that you have invested the amount that you withdrew so far the total profit you made and your growth of your portfolio so far i don't really use index a lot i specifically like to stick to crypto.com but this is uh, just for demonstration purpose only when you scroll to the bottom you're going to see that i have shiba inu and my balance is mentioned over here along with that um, unrealized gain or losses and also you can see that it's 99.4 percent of my portfolio when i click dca which means dollar cost averaging over here what i can do is i can place a order in such a way that the order will be automatically placed on a certain day or time of the week which is basically dollar cost averaging so we're here let's say i want to uh, buy um around 8 a.m of every monday of the week shiba inu coins worth 100 canadian dollars and if i can create this order what's going to happen is that on every monday without me trying to open an account and take a look into it the order will be automatically placed and that's basically dollar cost averaging it's a really nice way to minimize the losses next we have this section over here that says transactions so you can see all your transactions so far then we have recent activity just to see uh, who has logged into your account and all of that fun stuff I also want to share with you guys my referral link um, which you can use it to open an account with index if you do you're gonna get free ten dollars and also you can share this link with your friends and family eventually and also make some really nice free extra money on the site also you get 10 percent commission based on whoever uses your link to open an account then we have wallet over here you can basically um, send certain cryptocurrencies to a different wallet address um, and also you can deposit and withdraw canadian dollars into your account for example let's say i want to send my matic to a different wallet address i can just put in my wallet address over here the amount of matic i want to send and also uh, i have to just confirm the terms and conditions and click send matic i'm going to show you how you can deposit canadian dollars into index so it's very simple all you have to do is an interact e-transfer if you are from canada so all the information is mentioned over here if you want to know how to do interact e-transfer i have done a video on that which i'm gonna link it over here so check it out as well so there is no limit on the transfers you can make it's absolutely free of course and it should take zero to 30 minutes we also have an option to make a transfer using the wire transfer and all the information are mentioned over here or you can uh, deposit dollars into your account using the bank drop but i feel interact e-transfer is one of the easiest way to add money into index and next to withdraw the money all you have to do is go to canadian dollars and click withdraw and then you have to do a direct bank deposit um, over here you can select your bank account uh, or you can add a bank account by clicking on the button on the side and then you can enter the amount that you want to withdraw uh, confirm the terms of service and over here you can see that every time you're going to withdraw the money from index you do have to pay a transaction fee of 25 canadian dollars so when you click add account um, you have to enter the name on the account your bank name your institution number transit number and all of that stuff 
So when you click trade, you're going to come to this page which has this advanced chart, especially for day traders. It has all these indicators mentioned over here. So it's quite an extensive platform, uh, a lot of tools for especially advanced traders to use and play around with. To place an order, you're going to click buy. And then over here, you can place a market order, limit order, stop order or advance to place different kind of orders. I'm just going to walk you through market limit and stop in this video. So market order is basically buy or sell order that is placed at the best available average price on the index order book. So you click market, you enter the order size. So let's say I want to buy 37.7 Matic coins uh, worth 100 Canadian dollars. And over here on the bottom, you're going to see the market price that they are charging me is 2.64, the total value, the fees and all of that. And similarly, if you want to place a sell order, first thing you have to do is select the cryptocurrency of your choice so I'm gonna put that as Shiba Inu and then I'm gonna click sell and then I'm gonna enter either the dollar value of Shiba Inu I want to sell or the number of Shiba Inu coins I want to sell when I do that on the bottom you can see the market price they are charging me the total value the fees and how much you can expect to receive the fees is quite nominal because my total value is $39.86 my fees is 0.079 and I will receive somewhere around 39.78 dollars so that's pretty amazing um, and that's why I really wanted to highlight the fact about the lowest fees uh, this platform offers in Canada the only thing I don't like is the $25 withdrawal fee um, that I have to pay but yeah that's basically how market order works um, now let's say um, you want to place a limit order so for that you have to click limit and a limit order is basically buy or sell order that is executed at a specific price. For example, we're going to place a limit buy order for Shiba Inu at a limit price of 0 0.000 multiple zeros 2000 CAD, meaning when the price drops down to my limit price or even lower, the buy order will be executed. And then I'm going to set my time in force. You can put anything you want. I'm just going to put that as good till cancelled. So that's a limit buy order next we're gonna do a limit sell order so we here the current price of shiba inu is 0 point multiple zeros 3402 um, so i'm gonna set my order size and then i'm gonna set my limit price as 0 point multiple zeros um, 9000 cad meaning when the price goes to my limit price or even higher a sell order will be executed and then I'm going to set my time in force as good till cancelled and then eventually place the order. So that's limit order. It's a nice way to control the profit and um, the losses you want to take with a particular cryptocurrency. So next we have this stop order. So we're going to use XRP for an example. So over here I'm going to click stop and then I'm going to set the order size. So I'm going to put that as 100 XRP coins and I'm going to set my stop price as the price at which the order will be executed. So your stop price has to be at or higher than the current price. So the current price of XRP is $1. So I'm gonna set my stop price as $2. So when it reaches this price, 100 XRP coins will be purchased. Next, we have the stop sell order. So over here, I'm gonna set the order size as 100 XRP and my stop price would be below the current market price. So for example, right now, XRP is $1. So I'm gonna set my stop price at 0.50 CAD. So when this condition is reached, 100 XRP coins will be sold to limit my losses and that's basically a stop order. We do have other orders over here when you click the advanced sections. I can do a different video talking about all of these orders um, in the future one because this is beyond the scope of this video. We also have the plus section on the top where you can set price alerts. So first thing you have to do is select the cryptocurrency of your choice, select the alert type, the condition for example mine is that the, if the price of the Shiba Inu becomes greater than my condition value it will alert me. So that's a good way to stay updated about different price movements in the market, considering the fact that cryptocurrency markets are so volatile. When you come to transaction history, you're gonna see the trades, deposit, withdrawal, transfers, um, transactions, basically everything that has happened so far. Uh, nice way to stay in tune with your account. Next, we have um, 
reports which is a great section if you want to see the transactions you placed uh, during a certain time period and you just want to have a record of it usually for tax purposes or just for your own understanding so you can set a certain time range or a date and then click create report and next select the report format um, the type of report the date um, and also next just click create report and the report will be created and it will be sent into your email address as well so you can take a look into that and yeah that's basically it i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it helpful don't forget to use my referral link to open an account and start trading with index if you do have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and uh, please don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next one then take care